We really do seem to have some profound moments at this deer park. And um, yeah, today's no different. It's just so incredible here. And I, I actually brought my my 30 pounds tripod from school that I took to Elstoke where I was um, telling you about the book. And I brought that tripod with me and my camera bag. So we've got the bike back in the studio. So now I've got to be the model, the lighting technician and the photographer without being moody. <laughs> Ross lent it to me. No, no, you're oh, fine there. Thank you. Oh. Oh, people are so nice. Right. So I get my kit on. I need a wheel ready, mate. And then as I was getting out of the car here at the deer park, I just had this like strong sort of intuitive feeling not to take the tripod or the bag. I reckon Adam will have some input. I reckon he will. He's getting the photography skill, I reckon. Yes. Do you know what, right? I wish I hadn't left all my kit in the shed because... My jacket had a massive spider. It was so big, I screamed the house down. I'm not, I'm not scared of them, but they make me jump. And then my helmet, I shouldn't have left my helmet in the shed. Oh, it, no, so I just left that all in the car and just stuck with the 24 to 70 mil lens that the um, Z9 came with. And um, yeah, it, something was telling me just to go for a walk. You're getting into the whole photography thing, aren't you, love? I'm loving it. Oh, I hope there's nothing living in these and not carry all that kit. And I am so glad I did because I literally would have missed this moment where these deer were standing under a tree because getting the tripod out and messing around would have scared them off. You know, they would have run further away. So I feel like one day I might have a track bike, but I feel like the MV is quite heavy. Like when I did that track day, I could, yeah, the R6, I could just fling it around, you know? And then I had this other absolutely incredible moment where um, there was a stag sitting under a tree and I got closer and closer and closer and I just kept like, you know, every every step you take a shot to see if you can get how close you can get and um I got quite close like honestly it was just I don't know like 50 foot away maybe I'm not very good with measurements it seemed like really really close anyway look what I've done I've put my boot on and like if I'd have taken 10 steps, I would have been stood right next to the deer. Yeah, so it was really, really close. And um, I thought, right, it's going to run away now because it stood up. And I thought it was going to leg it. And it didn't. It started walking towards me, like just staring at me, walking towards me. And then it just stood there. And we just locked eyes, this deer and I. And it was, we just locked eyes. And it, it just stood there staring right at me for ages. It was amazing. No, I don't want to ride it on the road. Not no, I hate the bumps. Both times I've come here, I've had this real sense of belonging like a really strong feeling of just belonging. Erica had a dream that I had a, that I had a red motorbike on a trailer and it was at the wharf and that was before she knew that I had an MV that was red. <laughs> Can't wait to edit these photos. I hope you're not bored of deer.
actually I've got to keep coming back to my goal my goal was to help and inspire millions of people like I get caught up I get caught up like obviously I need to be on top of my game with technical because some of my subscribers know their shit they really like it's intimidating at times but it's leveling me up which is absolutely amazing I'm just gonna sit a while and enjoy this I just want to do things my way and I'll do it my way there's even little snowflakes like falling off the trees just making it feel even more magical all right so people are doing it on purpose whereas i'm trying to avoid any confrontation hang on i've got a cup